Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Barb City, where it's always Mother and Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into our first topic. So, Raven Simone. This woman used to be one of my favorite Disney Channel stars. I don't really pay attention to her, you know, in these days, but I will say that I used to love this woman, okay? With that being said, I want to get into this. As we know, most Disney Channel stars end up having some type of mental breakdown or they end up getting strung out on something and that is in my opinion we've seen this happen so many times now i do feel like raven simone was able to bypass all this drama as far as that goes but she did reveal today that she did go through the body shaming that we all know Disney Channel stars go through. Now, what makes this even worse is the fact that she went through this with her very own dad. Here's what's being reported. Raven Simone reveals she underwent two breast reductions and lipo before the age of 18 after her dad strongly encouraged it. This is what was said. There was paperwork involved. My dad suggested strongly that I should get my breast reduced. He was like, so you don't feel bad? Is there anything that you want? I was like, yeah, if I get lipo, will people stop calling me fat? So I got a two for one. Now, you guys, this is very, very sad. I don't feel like this is anything new as far as um, Disney Channel stars go. But to deal with this from your own dad had to hurt really bad. Here were some of the comments. He needs to be thrown under the jail just like every other parent who's exploited their child for money and fame. Parents could be your worst enemies. Sad as F before the age of 18 is crazy. Damn, she never had the chance to love her natural body. And one more person saying, this is so sad. Imagine your dad encouraging this. You bitch! So you guys, I do feel like this is very, very sad. It obviously bothers Raven if she's just now saying something about it. So I hope she's able to overcome this. Like, And I thank her for sharing her story to all the young girls that look up to her. And you can find the rest of this article all over Twitter, okay? With that being said, let's go on ahead and get into Glorilla. People are pointing out the fact that they feel like she is a two-hit wonder and she is just not making the amount of noise that she was when she first came out. For a second there, Glorilla was really popping and Memphis swore they were behind her to the end, but the charts, the music, it's, it's just not doing what it's supposed to do, baby. Embarrassing. So with that being said, you guys, one person said, the way Glorilla turned out to be a two-hit wonder is insane. I thought she was the people's choice and Memphis was behind her. Yeah, you're clearly not from Memphis or in the South. We listened to her heavily. So you guys, there were a lot of people saying stuff like this, but the thing is, it does not show on the charts, love. It does not show in music sales at all. And we're not saying that you guys are not supporting. We're just saying that you guys do not support as much as you used to. I knew Glorilla wasn't going to last when I first heard her music. How to? Which one? Since yesterday too. And one more person also pointed out this. 
What isn't talked about enough is how Sexy Red came and stole that momentum from her. Glow caught on fire, but then it started to die down. And then out of nowhere, I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds, my Gucci pink and my Eho brown. So yeah, people feel like um, Sexy Red basically came in here and snatched that position from Glorilla. So let me know what y'all think about it. Do you guys think that Memphis has given up on her? Or do you guys feel like Glorilla needs to keep on pushing? In my opinion, I feel like she should just keep pushing. Of course, after she collaborated with Cardi B, stuff like this was going to happen again. Even that has been shown many times when she works with artists. Okay? Now, let's get into 77 Cents and I Spice, y'all. People feel like Ice Spice has passed Lotto up so fast. They feel like Lotto has been out, I believe, like seven years, and she's just now hitting mainstream. But even then, she's not making any noise unless she's getting a collaboration. And in just a year, Ice Spice has passed her up like not just on the charts, not just with selling, not just with fans, but I mean all over the place, okay? With that being said, I just want to read these two things. Yes, Ice Spice hit Lotto, excuse me, hit Lotto's nerves. How you been in the game seven plus years and let somebody surpass you like that in all aspects? Another person said, so Ice career didn't surpass Lotto's yet? Two Nicki features, one Taylor Swift feature, way more Spotify listeners, more uh, Billboard entries, sold out shows, solo top tens, etc., People are actually supporting and buying Ice Spice's music. Mind you, did all this in one year and Lotto been rapping. Now, you guys, it is what it is. A lot of people are not going to want to agree with this. And I'm not saying that 77 Cents is not talented in her own way. I'm just simply saying that Ice Spice has taken her spot. <laughs> now with that i want to get into the queen really really quick you guys i just have one thing that i want to talk about Nicki minaj was nominated in five categories for the vmas you guys know Nicki Minaj will be performing at the VMAs this year. And we need to make sure that she wins, if not all of those categories, at least some. So with that being said, if you guys have not already voted, you guys will be able to find this picture right here on my community tab along with the link to vote, okay? Again, Nicki Minaj is in five categories and I believe you could put 20 votes in for each category at one time, okay? So make sure that you guys do that if you have not already. You guys know Nicki Minaj always appreciates us and loves us so make sure that you guys go hard for her okay and with all of that being said i love you guys so much thanks <laughs>